What's up, what's up, what's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button and be notified for future readings. This region will collect a reading for all signs. Cop suicide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love you guys. All right. So I received a channeling. Um, so we're going to do it. Just saying. Um, hope everybody's doing well. I'll probably start some more of the sign readings tonight. I've done Pisces. That's the only one I've done so far. So for week three. Sorry. But yeah, that's the truth. So, got Pisces up. Everybody else still got to get out. Okay. Um. So yeah. Okay. So the channel message I received was um. Oh shit! I forgot. Give me a second. I had a brain fart. Um. I feel like Jeopardy. Do 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 do. Okay. Um, give me a second. Maybe somebody's having a foggy brain or a brain fart. Because I'm for real, for real, not remembering. Give me a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember. You better take when it goes. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, through many series of chain of events, someone that severely lied on you, it is your just way. In the past, um, they're about to get severely publicly humiliated, and um, they're about to finally tell the truth, is what I heard. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, that's what you get when you lie. And depending on like certain official investigations and certain official things, if you lie that, that way, that shit can end you up in prison if anybody needs to hear that. And that's just the truth. Um. We might need to hear that. But yeah, so somebody that lied on you in a huge way in the past, um, basically, uh, they're about, through many series of chain of events, they're about to get publicly humiliated. And through many series of chain of events, they're about to tell the truth. Um, finally. So whatever the truth is, you plug it in, how it resonates, okay? But they lied on you in a huge ass way in the past, I'll tell you that. And, um, very publicly, very publicly. They lied on you in a huge ass way in the past, very publicly. And, um, but now they're about to come clean. They're about to come clean because they're about to be publicly embarrassed. It's not because they want to do the right thing. It's because it sounds like the universe is about to force it to where they will tell the truth. And that's just the truth. I don't think this is like altruism. Oh, I'm just going to come clean and, and do the right thing. No, I think it's, the universe is about to place this person in a predicament to where they're about to have to be forced to tell the truth. Or they're about to be backed into a corner socially and verbally to where they will have to tell the truth with like some evidence or proof or um, an official document or a photo or something of that nature. Is what I feel. Evidence will be provided. Photos are very significant. Very significant. Okay. Some kind of photos are going to be included in this. So whoever the hell is about to, I, I don't want to say corner this person, but um, I don't feel corner, but speak to this person about this, whether it's like official questioning, interrogation, or just speaking to them. Um, they will have photos. There's some kind of photo significant to this. So it sounds like the person about to confront this person, whether it's in an official investigation or an interrogation or just wanting the damn truth, whether it's official or not, is what I'm trying to say. They're going to have photos. They're going to have photos. And it sounds like they're going to show but one picture or two or two plus pictures to person. And I heard the person basically will come clean. They will come clean, but it's because they'll be, have to, they will feel forced to come clean. Um, is what it's sounding like here. Not because they want to. 
They most certainly are not going to want to. This person is about to get a horrible reputation, a horrible reputation, but they deserve it. Okay, I heard it's not because they want to, so that's confirmation. So they lied on you, sir, ma'am, in the past, if this resonates for you, in a huge way. Defamation of character way. Oh, my God, a defamation of character way. This unfoldment, a series of chain of events. So they lied on you so bad, they publicly slandered you. I feel your professional licensure or certification or career in some shape, form, or fashion for some of you guys. For some, it could be something else. But they did it so publicly and so crazily in the past and no qualms doing it in the past. But now the energy shifted and the tables have turned. Now somebody's about to come to them. And I don't feel it's you. I feel obviously it's somebody else. But they have lied on you. Somebody else is about to come to them with either one photo or two or two plus photos in some of these situations. Some uh, situations, it might not be photos, but I know at least one of you guys' in situation, there's at least one picture. I'll tell you that. Some situations, it might be two or two plus pictures, but they're about to come to them, basically. All the shit they spoke, shit talk, shit talk, shit talk, shit talk on you. And for some, they defamed your professional career, which is highly illegal. I mean, that's a lawsuit energy, and that's just the truth. They did it so bad and so publicly, like attention, clout chaser energy. Now, their ass is about to get called out with some of these cases, photo or photos. I heard they will tell the truth, but it's not because they want to. It's because they're about to be forced to because there's, for one of these situations, it's going to be a photo or photos. Which is going to cause unfoldment of series of chain of events. And I heard this person is uh, about to gain a terrible reputation. Um, and it will not get any better. And it will not get any better. So they're about to gain a terrible reputation and it will not get any better. Because of some kind of terrible defamation of character they have caused against you in the past, sir or ma'am. And something involving photo or photos. So whoever you are, obviously with the, whatever the hell they said. Oh my God, you can't make this shit up if you wanted to. Um, unfoldment with the wake up call. Um, unfoldment of series of chain events. And it's going to give this person that's about the back into a corner that has defamed your character so publicly and so widespread in the past, a huge ass care uh, wake up call, because whatever the hell they were speaking about you wasn't true. It was not true at all. At all. And one of these people through any series of chain of events, they're about to be forced to pay back a hell of a lot of money that they do not have, but they shouldn't have taken it anyways. Okay, so there's at least two of them over here. Okay, so they're about to be called out. Now, there's at least two of them over here, sir, ma'am, if you resonate over here. There's at least two of them over here, and um, they're about to be called out. Uh, one of them involves a photo or photos, at least one, maybe in some situations both. But one of these people is, at least one, is about to be um, have to pay back some kind of large amount of money that I heard they shouldn't have taken to begin with. They shouldn't have taken to begin with, but they chose to do it. They chose to do it, and um, but their ass is about to be, uh, get called out. So wake up call with a series of chain events, because um, somebody else is about to call them out. Damn! And I heard they're about to get a terrible reputation. Well, it's probably because nobody will be able to trust them. They most certainly will not. People don't trust them now, anyways. Okay, I heard they most certainly will not. People don't trust them now anyways. They, people don't trust them now anyways. Their reputations are, it sounds like already tanked, about to tank more. People don't trust them. Well, hell, I wouldn't either. So they're powerless. I mean, because your word is your, your word should be your bond. Your word should be, my dad taught me that at a very young age. A very young age. And he was my foster father. But he was amazing. He was, so, he taught invaluable life lessons um i had him when i was i moved there when i was about six years old and he passed away when i was 18 but let me tell you that man was the most best part of positive part of my life for 12 years with the miserable foster monster and that's just the truth and i'm serious he was a light in the tunnel in that dark ass home with that crazy lady that always thought about 
what people thought of her physical appearance and how much weight she was putting on and how much money she made and the materialistic things in life. Um, it was insufferable. And she kept me, tried to keep me in the damn laundry room for four, all my high school years when I was one of the best children. And that's just the truth. Her discernment was way off. And still is. But I don't have to deal with her. But anyways, so one of these people basically is about to um, have to pay. Somebody in this mix, there's at least two of them. One of them stole a very large amount of money. They stole a very large amount of money. I uh, not stole. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scroll back. Sorry. Uh, I didn't hear still. I didn't hear still. I didn't hear still. I heard they took a large amount of money. So that could have been somebody them accepting it from somebody or them stealing it. I didn't hear how they how they took it. Okay. I didn't hear theft in here. But they did take a very I heard they shouldn't have taken it. So that's what makes me think theft. Because I heard they took I heard they took it, they should have taken it. So that's what makes me think theft. But However, they took it and they wasn't supposed to take it. That sounds like that, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, they shouldn't have taken it, whether it was criminal or not. But they're about to be uh, forced to have to uh, pay it back or give it back or whatever that is. And I heard they don't have the money. They don't have the money. So meaning I, I think they're like a shopaholic or a, and don't get me wrong. I love shop. I love shop, but I'm not going to do it if I don't have the money to do it. I'm not going to do it if I'm not within my budget to do it. Whoever this is, I feel they're like a shopaholic. They're like a shopaholic. And don't get me wrong, I love to shop. I love to go, 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 and I love to shop when I have the funds to do it. But if I don't have the funds to do it, you better believe I'm not doing it because I'm not putting my financial health at risk. And that's just the truth. But I heard this person don't have it. They don't have it. That's going to create a wake-up call, series of chain of events for them. Right, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard they're going to ever regret um, doing this. And yeah, well, I mean, why, why, why did this per this person even make these choices to begin with in the past? It doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. Why would anyone make these kind of choices? I just don't have any clue. It does. I mean, how did they think it was going to benefit them down the long run? Shit talking to somebody. This is about to create, open up possibilities for you. You were supposed to get this money and you never did. This person is about to have to give up the money and it's, and you will be notified through many series of chain events. Okay. So you play in how it resonates, sir, ma'am. Okay. So there's at least two over here. One, one involves pictures, one, maybe not. Uh, one will have took a large amount of money they weren't supposed to take. They're about to have to give it back. These can be masculine femme energies. You plug in how it resonates, but it sounds a lot like theft if you ask me. But however that resonates, they shouldn't have did what they did. And that's just the truth. How can people learn to trust these people if they don't have honesty, trust, morals, respect, and integrity about themselves? And that's just the truth. Hashtag do the right thing. But I heard through many series of chain events, the one that has took the very large amount of money from you, masculine or feminine, they're about to have forced to be give it back. And then I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to be notified. So they're going to have to give up the money. Now, I personally feel they actually should go to jail to learn a lesson for theft. But I don't, I'm not the legal system. I'm not the justice system. I don't know if somebody's going to come arrest them or not. I didn't hear they're going to get arrested. But I heard they are going to have to give up the money. And through many series, which is going to create series of chain events and a wake-up call in them. And then create series of chain events to get the money to you. So I'm feeling for some of you guys, they're not even going to want you to know. I'm feeling this shit's about to 
obviously, I feel this is about to happen behind the scenes from you, sir, ma'am, if you resonate over here. Because they're not, I feel for some of you guys, if they end up jailed, hopefully you'll find out. I didn't, I didn't hear they're going to get jailed or anything like that, okay? But if they do, I would hope you would find that out, is what I'm saying. I hope somebody gives you a courtesy and respect enough to tell you that. But if they don't, this, so for some, I feel that it's not. I feel they're trying to do this behind the scenes is what I'm trying to say. Definitely behind the scenes. They have screwed up. Try not to cause huge waves. Oh my God. Okay, I heard definitely behind the scenes they've screwed up. They're trying not to cause huge waves. Okay, so whoever this is for, I don't feel it's going to be jail. I don't feel it's going to be jail because somebody screwed up hugely in this situation. So somebody's going to try to handle it behind the scenes. Try not to cause huge waves. In one of these situations, it's going to end up being a huge thing anyways. It's not going to go the way they planned. Things are going to get out of hand with this person and the conversation. It's going to go left very quick. Other action will have to be called. The police may be called in one of these situations. Oh, there's two. Well, there's two. There's two. Um, okay, so... Okay, so the police may be called in one. One, it doesn't sound like it's going to get out of hand. But in one situation, it sounds like somebody's not going to want to give money back or they're about to get so confrontational when they get um, advanced with picture or picture. We'll get, um, you know, uh, con not confronted, but shown, you know, the person to come to them to speak to them about the picture or pictures, uh, whoever it is to speak to them, basically call them out on their shit hopefully in a tactful way. Um, one, it sounds like it will be handled behind the scenes and the money will get to you, sir, ma'am, behind the scenes. The goal and premise in this is what it sounds like is for them to do it behind the scenes because they've screwed up. But there's at least two situations here. But one of them, I heard, will go left very soon. Or will, not very soon, I'm sorry. It will go left through a series of chain of events, unfoldment of events, and then the police probably will get called. That's for one of them. For one, it sounds like it will go behind the scenes. And then they will hand the money over. Or they don't even have the money. So I don't know if they're going to have to take out a loan. Uh, do a, a cash, easy, fast cash, title loan thing to get the money to you. Or um, or how they're going to handle it on their end. I don't know if they're going to put it on a credit card. Or how they're going to handle it if, they're, if they have a credit card. Um, but one of them doesn't have the money. So, like I said, I don't know how they're going to handle that. They're going to go to a title, fast cash title loan place and get money out that way um, to get to you, sir or ma'am. Or if they take out a loan from somebody else to get the money to you or, uh, or how they're going to do it. It's like robbing Peter to pay Paul. But however that resonates, I mean. But for one, it sounds like they're going to get aggressive and defensive and it's going to go left real quick, and then I heard the police probably will get called. So that's the going left, the unfoldment, a series of chain of events, wake up call, police action for one of them. The other one, it sounds like it's going to go, but it sounds like it's robbing Peter to pay Paul. Like I said, I feel like, and I hear this, but I feel like fast cash loan energy or um, like title max or something like that. I didn't hear that, but that's just what I'm feeling. Or Barring it from somebody else to get the cash to this person to behind this or or place or situation to get it to you or how that resonates implies, sir, ma'am. Okay, but just know, and there's at least two of these situations over here. If you resonate over here, they want the goal and premise of this is to handle all this behind the scenes because they screwed up to begin with. But one of the situations, the police will get called. And it will not go pretty. That This person's going to be very aggressive. Very defensive. They don't want to give up the money. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay, so one of them's going to be very aggressive, very defensive. They don't want to give up the money. Serious left. I heard police will be called. And I heard it's not going to go well for them. But in all fairness, they, I heard they shouldn't have ever taken it to begin with. Well, 
That's what you get. But one, it sounds like they will. That you know. Okay. Yeah, I took the money I shouldn't have. I accept responsibility. Blase, blase, blase. Let me go take my title to Title Max. Get the money out. Here you go. That's what I'm feeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right, I'm closing this out. Let me see if I hear anything else. I'm 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 hearing that song. Um take that jingle, take um, take me to title max. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.